I'm Major J. Galloway, and I'm from the seventh largest city in the nation, San Antonio. Welcome to my audition. Everyone, welcome to Talk What You Know. On today's show, we're going to find out what some college students had to say about the $787 billion stimulus package. Here's what they had to say. With me here is a college student. We're going to find out from Paul Hightower how the economic stimulus package will help our nation's economy. Paul, thank you for being here. Welcome to the show. All right, thank you. All right. Now I want to ask you, how do you think the economic stimulus package will help our nation's economy? I feel that it will help our economy because it will um, help people with tuition. Okay. It will also help uh, people in communities that I grew up in mm -hmm. that are in lower class mm -hmm. uh, have more positivity. Mm -hmm. And it will keep people employed. That's right. Thank you so much for your view. I wish you the best and continued success. All right. Thank you for having me. After hearing the viewpoints from a young generational perspective, we're going to take a look at the facts to tell us what the economic stimulus package does for our nation's economy relative to higher education. Now, what's being shown is a breakdown of what the economic stimulus package will do as far as higher education. So altogether, this is what this means. An estimated $32 billion of the stimulus package will be spent on higher education alone. This is Talk What You Know. I'm Amanda J. Galloway. We'll reconvene next time. Thank you for watching. <laughs> An argument over a cell phone has landed a man in the hospital with a bullet wound. The victim told police he was standing in the 100 block of Nolan Street in St. James early this morning, talking on his cell phone when two men drove up in a sports car, asked if he could use his phone. When the victim said no, one of them pulled a gun and shot the man in the arm. He's expected to be okay. Police are still searching for the gunman. Find out how a local college student makes donuts out of a biscuit. This is News Around the Nation. I'm Maynard Galloway reporting from the San Antonio College Studio. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you back here at 5. If we're going to compare King James or LeBron James to that of Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan wasn't just an awesome, tacious basketball player on the court. It was who he was off the court. Mm -hmm. It was who he was when he lost the game. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to compare him, we need to watch that because Michael Jordan certainly would have, wouldn't have done anything like that. No. And, and I, have to, I have to kind of piggyback on what Chris said last episode. He hates the Lakers, he hates Kobe Bryant, and so does a lot of people. But the thing you got to look at is the fact. The fact is the Lakers have been in this position many a time. They know what to expect and you can't beat experience. And I think if the Orlando Magic want to win this, they're going to have to capitalize on the shots. They're going to have to do a whole, they're going to have to do a tremendous job on execution on defense. Those are the key factors that they're going to have to do in order to contend with the Lakers if they want to win. We have here the director of the program, Nancy Cobb. Nancy Cobb, welcome to the show. Nice Thank to have you. you. It's so nice to be here. Thank you so much. Well, for we're glad to have you. you. Um, so as the director of the Gateway to College program, tell me, what have you enjoyed most about what it is you do? Reconnecting the youth to education and especially to San Antonio College. It's such a wonderful environment here. And so to be able to get students to like to come back to school, yeah. to remember their kindergarten days and the enthusiasm <laughs> that they had, that has been my ultimate goal. Tell me a little bit about what the Gateway to College program is all about. Uh, the Gateway to College program is a program for students between the ages of 16 to 21 okay. who dropped out of high school or are at risk of dropping out of high school. Mm -hmm. And it helps them to graduate from high school but also get started in earning an associate's degree. Okay. It's a $10,000 scholarship and it's funded by Bill Gates. Oh, wow. Yeah. And um, it's a really good program. It's, it's really a second chance. It, it gives people an opportunity to get somewhere with their life. So, you okay. know, you come here, you got people who care about you, you got smaller class sizes. Mm -hmm. And you got people who, who are trying to trying to help you get past whatever you were stuck on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, form a lot of bonds and stuff with people. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great learning environment. You know, every, everyone's here to help you, and we all have a common goal. And, wow. and so, you know, all the support's here for you. Um, you. You just have to want it as a person, and you, you have to come, and you have to be ready to <laughs> work. 
Now, standing with me is the captain of the San Antonio Detention Center, and we're going to have an all-exclusive interview with her. Ms. Brown, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. All right. So tell us, what is the uh, mission behind this event today concerning these young people? Well, they're actually here to uh, help out the community. They're, okay. they're doing some community service hours. Okay. But we see it fit since they are our future that if they help out their community as they grow, they'll realize that what you put, what, whatever you put into the community, you also get out of the community. Absolutely. Whatever you take away, you need to put back. So okay. that's part of the mission today to make right. sure that they're realizing they have to put some stuff back since they've taken some things out. Well, you heard it from the captain herself. We'll see you back in the studio. You're watching a closer view of District 2. And with me here is Councilwoman Ivy Taylor. Councilwoman Ivy Taylor, thank you so much for being here. Glad to be here. Well, we're glad to have you. So tell us, what does this grand opening of Dr. James W. Brown's uh, dentistry establishment mean to the constituents of District 2? This means so much for our constituents here. Uh, it's convenient for folks, so we're here to get dental care. But not only that, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It raises the bar on what we should expect here in our community. This is what we've been talking about in relation to East Side revitalization. Small business people putting their best foot forward, and then community agencies in the city and other partners supporting folks who do that. So we're so excited. It has got an art gallery inside, a room that can be used for community meetings and gatherings. So really, Dr. Brown really has raised the bar, and he's provided just a wonderful facility for us here on the East Side. All right. Well, you heard it. That's awesome tasteless news for District 2. So we'll see you back in the studio. Now we're running out of time, but before we do, I want to thank you for joining us. And if you want to achieve things you've never achieved before, you have to do things you've never done before. I am your host, Maynard J. Galloway, and thank you for watching.